How much more comfortable do you feel this year? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm fine with it. I've done it, done it before, done it for... Did it some my sophomore year and then a lot last year and um, I really I view myself as a basketball player you know not really off ball or on ball I think I can do a lot of things and, um, and it makes it easy when I can just throw it up there and let them go get it. Let me ask you what's the difference between you last year and this year and how do you feel going into the season? Um, I'm, I'm more athletic, I'm not hurt, uh, that helps. Um, I'm able to drive and attack uh, like I want to and uh, I think I'm under I'm under control more, especially with the ball, um, you know, not, not just driving into seven footers all the time, you know, I think there's some floaters in my game, you know, those lobs and bounce passes and, uh, you know, not... I like to play at, a, at at 100 miles per hour, but you know, kind of switching that up and, and slowing it down a little bit helps. What, um, what was your injury last year? Uh, I had a lot of them. Marvin was saying ankle toe. I mean, yeah. Marvin was saying it's only uh, only up from here. But you've been around the block a few more times than he has. After seeing this team in practice a bunch, uh, what's the ceiling compared to what we saw out there today? Um, that's that, the the thing I really like is about this team is we're so young and these guys want to learn and. I think we did such a good job of playing together today that it's only going to get better. And really with how these guys should be improving throughout the year, we shouldn't hit a ceiling like this year. Like we should just keep getting better. And um, with, with the youth, I mean, Marvin's going to continue to get better and, and know his spots and, and Wendell. I mean, those guys play together so well that uh, really I think they'll just keep improving. How can you as a captain make sure that stuff like what happened with Trevon and Alex doesn't happen again? Um, I mean, talk to him, and I I should know um, you know everything that's happened on the team and, and keep it under control. And um, but just I mean, talking to those guys, like we don't have we don't have a lot of upperclassmen, and so you know a lot of it is that they just they don't know, and um, and it's on me as the captain and. Um, some of the other guys who have been here for two or three years now to uh, help them out. What was uh, Marvin's transition like since he got here so late when he committed and reclassified and stuff? And I guess everybody else has been here since June, but it seems like he <laughs> seems like he's you know been here all along. Yeah, I mean he's a very easy guy to play with because he doesn't he doesn't need the ball in his hands for an extended period of time. I mean usually when he has it, he's making a quick move or. Uh, he, he's you know scoring or he's finding a guy out of the post and and that makes it really easy and he can kind of fit in uh, quicker than you know someone who's ball dom ball dominant excuse me um, and he's been he's been very open to you know figuring out how to play with us too and and trying to get guys in their spots and 